Hey guys, today I'm reviewing for you a launcher and this launcher allows you to download and change and share your home screens whenever you want. Let's check it out. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the XDA DevCon. Join us August 9th through 11th in Miami, Florida, a conference for developers by developers. More information available at www.xda-devcon.com. Our Stanford posted an application on the XDA portal by BuzzPlan. It's a launcher replacement called Buzz Launcher. Well, the main benefit, or at least the main difference here, obviously, is that it is a launch replacement for your phone. So you're going to have a new experience on your launcher, and you'll be able to change this as often as you'd like. That's one of the main benefits of this. If we open up the thread itself, we get a screenshot of the Buzz Launcher advertising from the developer, and it gives us a little bit of a breakdown as far as some of the main benefits of the application. The main key thing here is that you can, A, customize your launcher, which I know you're going to say this is no different than any other launchers on the market. But the beauty here is that if you don't want to customize it, you can download any of the pre-existing uh, launchers that have already been uploaded, uploaded to the developer's site. Let's go ahead and check out the app in the Google Play Store. Uh, the application itself is free. It was updated as recently as the 7th of May, and it supports Android 4.0.3 and up, and size is 9.8 megabytes, and it's free, of course. Let's check it out on the phone. I've already installed the launcher on the phone and I chose this specific theme. It's very nice, very minimalist. Like I chose to hide the status bar. I also chose to, to hide my application bar. I set up some of the gestures in here and we'll get into the options. If you go to menu, you get five or six different options in addition, well, six different options on the right side. The app drawer, which is your normal app drawer. Decoration is the way you would customize the launcher if you want to change certain aspects of it, add new, uh, you know, change the background, so on. Um, home pack buzz, buzz settings, system settings. Now if you press on the back of the screen where you normally would be able to basically either change the, um, the background, uh, it gives you the option and it just calls it decorations. So you go to decoration and then you can change your wallpaper depending on what you want to show, show, change it to. I have it set to this theme. Um, I downloaded this launcher directly or this theme for the buzz launcher straight off of the buzz, buzz website. And to be able to do that, you just go into the home pack buzz and it'll take you to their kind of like their app store, but essentially all it is is launchers. It goes by category if you'd like to sort through them by style or functionality, staff pick. Um, they also have, you know, the most recent ones. And these are launchers that have been made and customized and uploaded by users. So you can see the user's face, some of the comments they put on them. Uh, you can see here, this is the one I downloaded and I modified it slightly. Um, we can also see here that there's, you know, there's a hot section for all the ones that are popular. And to select it or to download a, a launcher, you just select it. You can read a little bit more about it and you can download the application itself, or download the launcher itself. So you say download now and it says, do you want to apply it here or add to my home? You just say add to my home and it'll download it and it'll finish downloading some of the at least main options of it and it shouldn't take too long. And then you can see that I have two different launchers now that I can switch between one or the other. Currently, I have this one, and we'll go ahead and go back to that one at, for, for at least for now. This is the settings for the Buzz Launcher. You're able to set the gesture functionality here. I have the Home Key Action, which is the default one. Swiping up, swiping down, Notification tab, Home Screen Menu. And you can have the option of adding the two-finger swiping options. Backup and Restore, simple to explain. Check for updates if you want to check the updates and see if there's a new version of the Buzz Launcher. Setting as default and keeping in memory will make sure that the launcher itself doesn't take a long time to load if you're running multiple launchers at the same back, same time. Feedback, help, go back here. Now, this is where we're going to go. We will go into the decorating section. The default home screen that comes with this launcher comes already pre-set up, so I can change it or I can keep it. I can go into the current screen. I can change the wallpaper, the grid size, the inner margin, and the outer margin. So basically, and you can see how it changes here. So right now it has none, and if I change it, you can see that some of the characters are starting to you know, go smaller. I can go back to none. Um, the appearance here, this is where you go basically and say, do you want to show the status bar? Do you want to show page count? Do you want to show the dock bar in the first place, or do you want to show labels to the icons? I chose to have none, very minimal slick. You can see here the inner outer grid. The default settings on the launcher are swipe up for your bra for your app drawer, which functions as any of the other app drawers in the mar uh, on other launchers. You have apps, you have widgets, same functionality as the default one. You have the ability of sorting them, 
uh, making folders, hiding applications, managing applications as far as being able to install and uninstall them, uh, changing the grid size so that you can have more applications showing on one page. So currently we have a 4x5. I can go to custom and I'll go to a 6x7. And you can see now I have less pages but a lot more icons showing up at the same time. Search here takes you straight into Google Now and you're able to go back home to the main screen. I've already added a, a, a flipboard icon on my screen and this is a 4x4. You can see how small this is and I've run this grid or at least the default grid that comes with this home screen is a 12x12 12 12. so that is a pretty high uh, setting to be able to put on a, on a launcher and still have it look functional. Uh, I like the, uh, the little uh, battery uh, percentage sitting here uh, the day of the week is nice and uh, this launcher when I downloaded required me to download minimalistic text. Overall very nice. Hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. After downloading the application and installing it on the phone I liked it very much as far as the setting, the aesthetics and the customization options as far as being able to change the grid size. The wallpaper is pretty simple. You can add a folder in there, you can add icons, you can modify different things. It kept some of the basic things that I did like out of the TouchWiz um, interface as far as the, the app launcher and it, that's the ability to sort hiding application managing application out of directly out, out of the app drawer that's something I like not all launchers have that ability um, one of the other things I liked about it is that uh, the settings and the creativity some of the other users that have used this and have uploaded their home screens is just amazing uh, there are new ones uploaded almost every other day and you're able to change it on a whim as far as what you like and what you don't like of it so it's never going to be a boring home screen for you um, it's very functional. It's meant to have all the functionalities that you like. As far as the swiping functionality that I added or that I turned on on the, uh, on the launcher, um, those are very functional. So it enabled me to hide the, my status bar and also hide my app drawer uh, icon at the bottom part of my uh, part of the, uh, the you know, home screen itself. So very minimalistic, takes very little space, and the ability to go up to 12 by 12 on the grid size just gives you the ability to add so much more um, icons and then just shrink them down and make it fit very nicely. Again, I'm running it on, you know, obviously on a Galaxy Note 2 and, you know, the screen's already big enough, but, but making it clean and simple and now it enables me to have only one home screen, not have to add multiples, uh, just makes it work very nice. Hope you guys like this. Please check out, let me know what you think. Um, also, please check out the uh, XDA DEF CON running in August in Florida. So, uh, you know, there'll be link and information in the uh, credits. Um, check out my main channel and hopefully uh, by the time you guys see this video uh, Google I.O. would have already started and the keynote would have been mentioned and uh, we'll have some new surprises hopefully some hardware uh, depending how things go with, with the new uh, Android Chief uh, we'll see hopefully how things go I'll see you guys next week